Yo, hoop fans, your sideline sage, Tips and Upstreams, is lacing up once again. On deck, deep dives into the freshest NBA clashes, ready to set the planks ablaze. But before we jump the ball, be sure to hammer that subscribe on our YouTube channel to keep hooked with our sharp forecasts and prime selections. All right, let's bounce into today's NBA crystal ball reads. The first prediction for today is for the game between the Brooklyn Nets and Detroit Pistons. Tonight's battle on the court sees the Brooklyn Nets facing off against the Detroit Pistons in an encounter ripe with excitement and competitive spirit. Fresh from a hard-fought win over the 76ers, with the scoreboard reading 112-107, the Nets demonstrated their grit and strategic prowess. Their on-court performance shone brightly with an impressive 48.8% field goal accuracy bolstered by a defense that effectively contained their rivals. Dorian Finney-Smith stood out, netting 20 points with a remarkable 72.7% shooting efficiency and pulling down 8 rebounds. Brooklyn's sharp shooting from the three-point line, hitting 36.6%, combined with their meticulous ball control, signals their readiness to exploit any defensive gaps the Pistons might show. Conversely, the Detroit Pistons licking their wounds after a 118-110 defeat to the Heat, are facing a challenging situation. Despite Cade Cunningham's valiant 23-point contribution, the team was hampered by a disappointing 43.8% shooting from the field and a dismal 28.6% from distance. Their season, marred by inefficiencies, is reflected in their 952 standing, putting them at a notable disadvantage against the Nets' dynamic approach. A statistical glance paints a vivid picture of the disparity between the two teams. The Nets' average of 112.0 points per game belies their 24th position, starkly contrasting with Detroit's 112.1 points per game, which unfortunately doesn't translate into victories owing to their defensive shortcomings. Brooklyn's knack for inducing turnovers and capitalizing on mistakes could sway the outcome in their favor, especially given the Pistons' tendency to lose possession 15.3 times per match. A review of recent matchups in the host city tips the scales toward Brooklyn, indicating a psychological advantage against the Pistons. The Nets' versatile offense, coupled with slightly superior defensive stats, earmarks them as the match favorites. Taking into account injury updates and the possible absence of key players, the Nets, with their cohesive offense and staunch defense, are tipped to come out on top. Brooklyn's track record in consecutive games further underlines their resilience and depth, pivotal factors in this clash. Given the stats, current form, and tactical considerations of both sides, the Brooklyn Nets are anticipated to emerge victorious. However, the Detroit Pistons are expected to defy the odds and cover the 3.5-point spread. Despite the Pistons' defensive woes and offensive inconsistency, their efforts may not suffice to secure a win against the Nets' scoring prowess. Brooklyn's ambition to ascend the standings, juxtaposed with Detroit's ongoing battles, carves a clear path to a Nets triumph in a closely contested game. To sum up, the Brooklyn Nets are forecasted to utilize their offensive firepower and defensive schemes to their advantage against the Detroit Pistons. The analysis of comparative stats, recent outings, and team strategies leans towards a Brooklyn win, with the smart bet being on the Detroit Pistons to cover the spread. My prediction leans towards a Brooklyn Nets victory, yet I'm placing my bet on the Detroit Pistons to bridge the 3.5-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Minnesota Timberwolves and Indiana Pacers. Get ready for a heart-pounding face-off at Gainbridge Fieldhouse, where the Minnesota Timberwolves are set to clash with the Indiana Pacers in a basketball showdown of epic proportions. The Timberwolves, riding high on a gritty win against the Portland Trailblazers, stride into this game as slight 1.5-point favorites on the road against the Pacers, fresh off their own victory against the Dallas Mavericks. The Timberwolves' recent takedown of the Blazers was a testament to their ability to stay cool under pressure and perform against the powerhouses of the Western Conference, a feat punctuated by Rudy Gobert's standout double-double. Their stellar 39 record when facing Western teams, coupled with a dominant 25 tally against teams below 500, underscores their season-long prowess and reliability. On the flip side, the Pacers have been showcasing their scoring depth and offensive firepower, highlighted by Miles Turner's dynamite first half 
in their last game and significant bench contributions. Their knack for setting the tempo and leveraging their bench strength has become their signature as seen in their top-tier scoring average and game pace. As we size up the Timberwolves and Pacers, it's clear they bring distinct styles to the hardwood, setting the scene for a riveting clash. With Gobert anchoring the defense, Minnesota boasts the league's stingiest defense, excelling in points allowed and efficiency. Their well-rounded offense, adept both from the perimeter and the charity stripe, presents a diverse threat. Meanwhile, Indiana's clinical field goal shooting and assist rates underline their effective, high-speed offensive play, despite some defensive lapses. Looking back, the Timberwolves have historically outmaneuvered the Pacers, particularly in recent visits to Indiana, backing up their solid performance on the road with a strong against-the-spread record. When you break down both squads' recent form and versatility, it's a narrative of resilience and firepower. With Minnesota's all-around execution and Indiana's scoring spree, expect an electrifying duel. However, Minnesota's defensive edge seems poised to neutralize Indiana's attack, with the Pacers' defensive holes tipping the scales towards the Timberwolves. Considering Minnesota's defensive metrics, effectiveness against weaker teams, and historical edge over Indiana, the Timberwolves are the smart pick. Their control over game tempo and pro West in three-point shooting and rebounding, particularly on offense, will dictate the game's rhythm. In sum, despite the Pacers' offensive might and home court, the Timberwolves' defensive solidity and balanced offense should see them through. Minnesota is set to not just win, but also beat the spread, leveraging their strengths against Indiana's defensive gaps. This bout is a testament to Minnesota's championship caliber and their knack for clinching vital road wins. My money's on the Minnesota Timberwolves to triumph and cover the two-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Miami Heat and Dallas Mavericks. Get ready for a basketball showdown of epic proportions as the Dallas Mavericks square off against the Miami Heat at the American Airlines Center. This clash promises a display of sheer basketball artistry and tactical genius, with both squads coming in hot, boasting impressive records and unique strengths. It's a matchup teed up for unpredictable swings, hinging on several key dynamics. The Miami Heat, coming off a solid win against the Pistons marked by a sharp 49.4% from the field and an impressive 87.0% from the free throw line, have shown tenacity and precision. Jimmy Butler, dropping 26 points and dishing out 8 assists, highlights Miami's strategy of leaning on their marquee players for pivotal wins. With a scoring average of 110.8 points and a shooting accuracy of 46.5%, the Heat's game plan revolves around methodical plays and capitalizing on their 37.5% three-point shooting prowess. On the flip side, the Dallas Mavericks, despite a recent stumble against the Pacers, flaunt a high-octane offense, averaging 118.7 points on a solid 48.0% shooting from the field. Luka Doncic, with a jaw-dropping 39 points in their last outing, continues to be the cornerstone of Dallas's attack, supported by Kyrie Irving's sniper-like efficiency. However, the Mavericks' defensive lapses, conceding an average of 118.3 points, might be the Achilles heel the Heat can exploit. Historically, matchups in Dallas have been nail biters, with the Mavericks typically leveraging their home court, but the Heat's recent form, boasting an 8 2 run in their last 10 games and slightly better defensive stats, suggests they might have the upper hand in this tight clash. Particularly, Miami's knack for forcing turnovers and locking down on perimeter shooting could throw Dallas off its game. Injury reports could be a game changer, with both teams tending to key players. The availability and performance level of these athletes might tip the balance. Moreover, with the Mavericks favored by the bookies with a six-point spread, overcoming this challenge against a defensively strong Heat team won't be straightforward. Considering recent performances, head-to-head history, and critical stats, the scales might tip in favor of the Miami Heat in a tightly contested duel. Their defensive prowess and strategic offensive maneuvers stand them in good stead as potential upsetters for the Mavericks. The Heat are expected to beat the spread, drawing on their defensive solidity and clutch plays from their stars. As for the total points, the Mavericks' offensive firepower matched against the Heat's defensive solidity suggests a game that might not hit the high scoring many anticipate, potentially staying under the 228.5 points threshold set by bookies. 
This outlook banks on Miami's defense tempering Dallas's scoring spree, coupled with tactical game pace management. My wager, the Miami Heat to beat the spread, and betting on the total points to fall under 228.5. The next prediction for today is for the game between Toronto Raptors and Phoenix Suns. Tonight's game is shaping up to be a riveting clash as the Toronto Raptors make their way to face the Phoenix Suns. Both squads are eager to edge ahead, with their recent records showing an even split across the last eight matches, making tonight's game a critical moment in their season's journey. The Raptors, coming in hot from a win against the Hornets but stumbling in games against the Pelicans and Warriors, have been delivering a mixed performance. They're racking up an average of 114.1 points on a 47.5% shooting rate, while their defense has been giving up 118 points at a slightly higher 48.6%. R.J. Barrett and Scotty Barnes have been leading the charge, with Barrett dropping an average of 20.5 points and Barnes close on his heels. On the flip side, the Phoenix Suns, despite hitting a snag against the Rockets and Thunder, found their rhythm against the Nuggets. They're putting up impressive numbers with an average of 117.1 points on a 49.2% shooting rate, coupled with a somewhat sterner defense that's been conceding 144.3 points. Kevin Durant and Devin Booker have been the standout stars, keeping the points ticking over for the Suns. Digging into the stats, the Suns' superior shooting precision, both from the field and the three-point line, along with their skill at the free-throw line, slightly tilts the balance in their favor. Their knack for snagging rebounds, offensive and defensive alike, further boosts their dynamic gameplay. History tells us the Raptors often find it tough in Phoenix, with a notable 2-8 record against the spread in their last 10 visits, highlighting their struggles in the Suns' territory. Despite the Suns' strong 14-6 record when playing as favorites, the Raptors have shown signs of improvement against the spread when facing the Suns, even pulling off a surprising win earlier in the season. With the Suns' formidable home record and the Raptors' wavering performance against Western Conference foes, the Suns are in a prime position to capitalize. Yet, the Raptors, with their scoring power, have the potential to cover the 10.5-point spread especially if the Suns' attention is divided ahead of their upcoming game against the Celtics. The trends and numbers point towards an action-packed encounter, but with a total set at 231.5 points, and considering the Suns' trend of falling under, we might see a more contained game. While the Suns are the favorites to clinch the victory, betting on the Raptors to beat the spread could be the wise choice, thanks to their competitive spirit and ability to rise to the occasion against formidable teams. Prediction. Brace for a tight contest where the Suns might emerge victorious, but expect the Raptors to beat the 10.5 point spread. With defense playing a crucial role, and given the team's latest outings, it's likely that the total score will stay below the 231.5 mark, underscoring the competitive nature of this matchup. My bet is on the Toronto Raptors to overcome the 11 point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Boston Celtics and Denver Nuggets. As the NBA season hits its stride, the Boston Celtics and Denver Nuggets are poised for an electrifying showdown, promising to be a masterclass in basketball brilliance. In the Celtics' fortress, this isn't merely a clash of titans, but a display of strategic sophistication, star-studded performances, and an unyielding drive for triumph. The Celtics have been on an impressive streak, securing wins in 10 of their last 11 games and captivating fans with their performances. Their triumphs over top teams like the Mavericks and Warriors have solidified their position as serious contenders for the championship. However, a narrow defeat to the Cavs has revealed a slight weakness in their otherwise formidable lineup. Led by Jason Tatum, who is averaging 27.1 points and 8.5 rebounds, and Jalen Brown contributing 22.4 points, the team's offensive strength has overwhelmed defenses everywhere. They boast a three-point shooting accuracy of 38.6% and a free-throw shooting efficiency of 81.3%, underscoring their deadly effectiveness. Defensively, they have been just as dominant, holding their opponents to an average of 109.8 points on a 44.7% shooting accuracy. Meanwhile, the reigning champion Denver Nuggets have been subtly flexing their might, notching six wins in their last seven games. 
fueled by Nikola Jokic's MVP worthy displays. They average 114.4 points on a robust 49.2% shooting efficiency. However, their defense conceding 110.4 points at a 46.5% clip has shown vulnerabilities that the Celtics could potentially exploit. Their last face-off with Boston, a thriller ending 102-100 in Denver's favor, underscored their tenacity and the deadly impact of the Jokic-Murray partnership, even as Boston neutralized their supporting cast. Comparing stats, the Celtics edge out in field goal and three-point accuracy, pivotal to their offensive game plan. Their consistency in these areas, particularly in crucial moments, might just give them the upper hand. Additionally, Boston's dominance on the boards, coupled with their home advantage, tips the scales in their favor for this encounter. Considering team momentum, historical matchups, statistical insights, and recent outings, the scales tip towards the Boston Celtics. Their shooting prowess, defensive strength, and rebounding edge, along with strategic efforts to exploit Denver's defensive weaknesses, point to a Celtics victory. Moreover, the Celtics are anticipated to surpass the 1.5 point spread supported by their tactical news and the Nuggets' likely weariness from their tough schedule. In essence, this potential NBA Finals teaser is a can't-miss for Hoops fans. Both squads, with their impressive win records, step into this battle with points to prove. Their first rendezvous ended in a relatively low-scoring affair with 202 total points. This time, with both offenses in prime form, a higher-scoring game is expected, surpassing the 221-point mark. My prediction, the Boston Celtics not only even out the series but also cover the spread, marking a win in this high-stakes duel. The next prediction for today is for the game between Chicago Bulls and Golden State Warriors. As the Chicago Bulls gear up to face the Golden State Warriors, basketball enthusiasts are in for a treat with this showdown. The Warriors, currently 10th in the Western Conference with a 32-28 record, are in a tough spot after a crushing 52-point loss to the Celtics. This adds urgency to their upcoming games against the Bucks and the Bulls. The Bulls, sitting ninth in the Eastern Conference, have shown a gritty determination typical of Chicago, further highlighted by a recent win over the Utah Jazz. Analyzing this matchup, the Bulls scoring pro West, led by the powerhouse duo of DeMar DeRozan and Kobe White, who racked up 54 points in their last outing, could pose a challenge to the Warriors' erratic defense. Despite the Warriors' known offensive capabilities, their recent 140-88 defeat by the Celtics and a lackluster home record against the spread this season underline their weaknesses that the Bulls could capitalize on. The Warriors have the home court advantage and usually boast higher shooting accuracy and strong perimeter defense, crucial for controlling the game's tempo. Yet, the Bulls' recent performance including a commendable victory over the Jazz and 46% accuracy from the three-point line in their last game's first half shows they have the firepower to take on Golden State's defense. The only meeting between these teams this season was a high-scoring game where the Warriors won 140-131, but the Bulls proved they could keep up with Golden State's scoring frenzy. Injuries and player dynamics are critical to this game's outcome. With the Bulls potentially missing Levine and Williams, DeRozan and White must continue their standout performances. The Warriors need to recover from their recent loss, with their leading trio expected to lead the resurgence. Considering all factors, including team dynamics and recent performances, this game could go either way. However, the Bulls' rising form and the Warriors' home spread struggles suggest Chicago could not only cover the spread, but also vie for the win. Despite traditionally favoring the home team, the Bulls' current form and scoring ability, especially against a lenient Warriors defense, hint at a possible upset in favor of Chicago. Ultimately, while the Warriors are favored by a 6.5-point spread, the Bulls' current form, statistical backing, and past encounters suggest they are poised to cover. With the Warriors' defense inconsistencies and the Bulls' offensive strength, expect a close game with the Bulls potentially securing a win, or at least covering the seven-point spread. Expect the Bulls to utilize their recent form and scoring efficiency to cover the seven-point spread in a thrilling game against the Warriors. With a total points line at 223.5 and both teams' offensive prowess, a high-scoring match is anticipated, making the over a favorable option. 
my prediction leans towards the Chicago Bulls covering the seven-point spread. The last prediction for today is for the game between San Antonio Spurs and Sacramento Kings. In the electric atmosphere of the NBA, the much-anticipated showdown between the San Antonio Spurs and the Sacramento Kings at Sacramento's Golden One Center is set to thrill Hoops fans far and wide. The Spurs, currently at the tail end of the Western Conference with a 13-49 record, are in dire straits, hungering for a victory to redeem their season. Meanwhile, the Sacramento Kings, perched in the seventh spot with a commendable 35-26 tally, are looking to cement their playoff berth with another win. The Spurs' campaign has been beleaguered by defensive shortcomings, surrendering an average of 120.2 points per game, landing them in the 25th spot league-wide for points allowed. Their struggle to effectively challenge shooters has been a key factor in their lackluster showing. On offense, they fared slightly better, netting an average of 112.2 points per game, yet the loss of Victor Wembanyama to an ankle injury further dims their prospects. His absence strips the Spurs of a vital offensive weapon, potentially crimping their scoring efforts against the Kings. On the flip side, the Kings have been firing on all cylinders offensively, securing the eighth rank with an average of 118.1 points per game. Their game plan, leaning heavily on high-volume shooting both from the perimeter and inside, has paid dividends, even as it has meant a trade-off in defensive rigor with the team conceding 117.9 points per game. This strategy has seen the Kings outshoot rather than outdefend their opponents to clinch wins. The Spurs have found the going tough on the road, failing to notch a win away from home post-All-Star break. Moreover, their track record against the spread and in confrontations with the Kings doesn't bode well for their chances to beat the spread in this matchup. Despite their defensive lapses, the Kings have shown they can rack up points with ease, particularly in clashes with the Spurs, where game totals have frequently surpassed expectations. Historically, the Kings have had the upper hand in their home encounters with the Spurs. Although the Spurs have been adept at distributing the ball, ranking second in assists per game, their challenge is magnified without their top scorer and against a Kings squad that wins through sheer scoring strength. Considering the Kings' offensive dynamism, their resilience in back-to-back -back games, and the Spurs' defensive woes, Sacramento seems poised to take this encounter. The Spurs might keep it closer than predicted, given the Kings' defensive vulnerabilities and potential fatigue. Still, Sacramento's scoring edge and home court advantage are expected to carry the day. Anticipating the Kings to outscore their rivals, and considering the high point totals in their recent meetings with the Spurs, a high-scoring affair seems likely. Nevertheless, considering the Spurs' current form and the Kings' defensive frailties, the game may fall short of the ambitious 237.5 points threshold. The Spurs can act for sharing the ball, could expose the Kings' defensive gaps, making for a competitive game. Yet, the Kings' scoring prowess and strategic edge at home should seal their win in a game that's tighter than the spread indicates. While the Kings are the favorites, the game's dynamics and the Spurs' ability to leverage Sacramento's defensive shortcomings hint at a scenario where the Kings secure a win but don't cover the 10.5-point spread. The total points are tipped to be high, but with defense playing a role, betting on the under on a 237.5-point margin appears wise. Expect a hard-fought victory for the Sacramento Kings that doesn't beat the spread, with total points likely under 237.5. My money's on the San Antonio Spurs to stay within an 11-point spread.